رمضان مبارک رمضان کریم اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اللہم صلی علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما صلیت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہم بارک علی محمد و علی آل محمد کما بارکت علی ابراہیم و علی آل ابراہیم انکا حمید مجید اللہ دی آلمائیتی سیز ان دی حلی قرآن ان اللہ و ملائکته یصلون علی النبی یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا صلو علیہ و سلمو تسلیما The translation of which is Allah and His angels send blessings on the Holy Prophet O ye who believe you should also invoke blessings on him and salute him with the salutations of peace The month of Ramadan is one wherein descends blessings from Allah the Almighty It's a month in which grief and worries of Muslims are emancipated. It is a month wherein, the, wherein prayers are accepted. But all this requires a path to be treaded upon. What is that path? Hazrat Abdullah narrates that once he prayed in the presence of the Holy Prophet وسلم, and Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq and Umar Farooq He started off his prayers with the praise of Allah the Almighty and then invoking blessings on the Holy Prophet ﷺ. And after these two, he then supplicated for what he needed. When the Holy Prophet ﷺ heard this, he said, Sal tu'ta, sal tu'ta, ask and you will be granted. Ask and you will be granted. This tells us that there is a secret recipe for the acceptance of prayers and this narration has it all. Hazrat Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu also mentioned that inna dua mawqoofun bayna samai wal ard la yus'ad la yas'ad minhu shay'a hatta tusalli ala nabiyyika sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is the prayer of a person remains suspended between the heavens and the earth except it raises to the heavens through the blessings on the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hazrat Ubay bin Kaab states that he told the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that I invoke a lot of blessings upon you. So how much of my prayer, my Salat, should I dedicate for this? One fourth, one third, or two third? And the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam continued to say, if you increase it, it will be better for you. At the end he said, that I would make my entire prayers just blessings and salutations upon you. And at that, the Holy Prophet ﷺ said, إِذَا تُكْفَى حَمَّكْ وَيُغْفَرُ لَكَ ذَنْبَكْ If you do so, then certainly all your problems will be solved and all your sins will be, will be wiped. The Promised Messiah ﷺ received a revelation, صَلِّي عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ سَيِّدِ وُلْدِ آدَمْ وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ that is, invoke blessings on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the progeny of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who is the chief of mankind and the seal of the prophets. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. The promised Messiah alayhi salam states, this indicates that all these ranks, munificence and favors are on account of him, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and are a reward for loving him, subhanallah. Holy is Allah. What high ranks the chief of all creation has in the presence of the one true God. And what kind of nearness does he have to him that his admirer becomes the beloved of God and his servant is appointed as the master of the whole world. Regarding what one should think when reciting the root sharif, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin, the promised Messiah salam said that Allah the most gracious sends his complete blessings upon the Holy Prophet Wasallam, makes him the fountain of blessings for the universe and that he shows the noble character and majesty of the Holy Prophet Wasallam in both this world and the next. 
This prayer should occur with great fervency, like when one prays to God whilst experiencing a great calamity. Rather, one should recite the rule with greater passion and fervency than this. Advising members of the Jamaat, the Promised Messiah said, You should recite the rule with great attention, like one who truly seeks blessings for his loved one. In the same passion and sincerity, you should desire blessings for the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih al Khamis, may Allah strengthen him in his Friday sermon of 30th April 2021, which happened to be during the month of Ramadan, said, Thus, in these days, we must, pray, we must pay particular attention towards performing our worship in the most excellent manner. Invoking salutations on the Holy Prophet ﷺ, the Durood. We are fortunate that the Holy Prophet ﷺ's true servant in this era, the Promised Messiah ﷺ, not only drew our attention towards prayers, but also explained how these prayers can be accepted. Alongside praising, the, praising Allah the Almighty, Invoking salutations on the Holy Prophet ﷺ is also very important for the acceptance of prayers. Otherwise, those prayers become suspended between the heaven and the earth. Therefore, during this Ramadan, where we must pay particular attention towards invoking salutations on the Holy Prophet ﷺ, we must try to bring a virtuous change in ourselves, which is essential for our durood to be accepted. If this is accepted, then it is beneficial for that individual as their prayers will be accepted and it will improve their spiritual condition. When one progresses in their love for the Holy Prophet wasallam, they will receive the true nearness of Allah the Almighty and once the rood offered earnestly will in return provide the means for the Ummah of the Holy Prophet to progress. In this era, Allah the Almighty has entrusted the Jamaat of the Promised Messiah salam, with following this command in the correct manner and invoking salutations upon the Holy Prophet Through this, one would become the recipient of the blessings of Allah the Almighty and receive blessings from the prayers of the angels because if the angels send blessings upon the Holy Prophet wasallam, then these blessings would reach his true Ummah and followers. Thus, if we, if we receive such blessings, then it is incumbent upon us to show gratitude by sending salutations upon the Holy Prophet ﷺ, even more than before. This link between darood and gratitude is a never-ending cycle which continues to benefit a true believer. When we study the ten conditions of bad the Promised Messiah ﷺ laid for the members of his community, the tenth of these conditions says that he, the person who accept, accepts this community, shall regularly offer the five daily prayers in accordance with the commandments of Allah and the Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam, and shall try his best to be regular in offering the tahajjud and invoking, on, and invoking the rood on the Holy Prophet wasallam, that he shall make it his daily routine to ask forgiveness for his sins, to remember the bounties of Allah, and to praise and glorify Him. Therefore, dear viewers, in this month of Ramadan, when the doors of Allah's blessings are wide opened, let us make it a point as members of the community of the Promised Messiah to send down blessings on the Holy Prophet wasallam, as Allah the Almighty also revealed this commandment to the Promised Messiah and the Ten Commandments, the Ten Conditions of Bayad also demand from us that we invoke the rood, salutations on the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ya Rabbi Salli Ala Nabiyyika Daiman Fi Hadihi Dunya Wa Ba'athin Thani Assalamu Alaikum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuhu